Hello everyone, myself Diksha from Biotechnica and today I am going to give some insights about top institutions that are good for pursuing neurobiology research. So if you are interested in neurosciences and you want to pursue neurosciences, then I am going to give you some top 6 institutions that are pioneer in the research field of neurosciences where I will be giving you details about the uh, location, the website that is available, about the research areas available the specific institutions, their mode of entry as well as the curriculum available. So let's get started with the video and the first institution that is famous for the neurobiology research is specifically devoted to neurobiology research is National Brain Research Center. National Brain Research Center is located in Manasar, Haryana. It is located in Manasar, Haryana and about the and if we talk about their research areas they have a pioneer research available in the field of neurosciences because this institution is specifically devoted to research in the field of neurobiology and neurosciences the website here i have mentioned is there and the research areas the top research areas available at nbrc haryana is cells and molecules related to your neurosciences and neurodevelopment cellular and molecular neurosciences computation and cognitive neurosciences neurospectroscopy and neuroimaging laboratory systems and behavioral neurosciences so these are some of the research areas of the nbrc manasar haryana now we are going to talk about the mode of entry so you can either go for pursuing your masters in neurosciences or you can opt for summer training program or you can go for becoming a project assistant at nbrc one of the labs of nbrc or you can opt for doing your phd there at nbrc so for pursuing your msc in neurosciences you need to crack the for JJ Bills exam and based on that you will be called for the interview process. For the summer training program, you need to have the INSA Fellowship that is the Indian Academy of Science Fellowship and then Indian Academy of Science Fellowship through that you can get a training in one of the lab of the NBRC Haryana. For the project assistant position mostly there will be vacancy displayed on the website or you can even go for emailing the PI where you will be giving your details and your research interest and if it matches with the requirements of the PI they might hire you. For the PhD you need there are three modes of entry you can either go for for JGE bills or just examination. The second one is gate examination and third one is CSIR, UGC, NET, JRF or DBT or ICMR, JRF. So the three categories are JG bills, gate as well as own fellowship through the which we can go for PhD program and based on that you will be shortlisted and called for the interview. So now we are done with the first institution specifically for the neurosciences that is NBRC Haryana. The second one we are going to talk about is National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences that is NIMHANS which is located in Bangalore, Karnataka. So NIMHANS is a hospital as well as they are having a lot of clinical as well as clinical translational as well as basic science research in the field of neurosciences. Again specifically devoted institution for neurosciences. It is a pioneer apex institution under the Ministry of Welfare, Health and Welfare located in Bangalore, Karnataka. The website I mentioned it here and the research areas are neurochemistry, neuromicrobiology, neurophysiology, neurobiology, psychopharmacology as well as many more which you can go and search for the departments of the Nimansa website. These are some of the famous departments I have mentioned and same famous research areas. And the type of entry is such as you can go for becoming a research fellow there that is you can go for SRF, GRF or research associate position or you can go for a PhD position there. So for the mode of of entry I'm going to discuss here is for becoming a research fellow you have to check for the Nimans project advertisement where there would be display and announcement of the projects that are available through the Nimans website so you have to keep on checking the Nimans website for the projects that are available for PhD there are two modes of entry the first one is you have to give Nimans institutional examination conducted twice in a year first in June and second intake is in January and another mode of intake is CSIR net JRF or DBT JRF ICMR JRF that is own fellowship through own fellowship also you can go for pursuing PhD. Now the third most important institution 
pioneer in the field of neurosciences is Center for Brain Research, Indian Institute of Science, again in Bangalore. Indian Institute of Science is one of the top institution of research in India. It is located in Bangalore. The website here I have mentioned, CBRISC, because Center for Brain Research is a separate department at ISC, separate center at ISC. Research areas, some of the research areas for PhDs are human genetic variation affect neurodegenerative conditions, role of sleep and physical activity in cognitive function using various techniques, cardiometabolic and vascular risk factors with dementia, non-molar uh, motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease, vascular dysfunction in Alzheimer's disease pathology, predicting biological and chronological aging in the brain and many more computation and cognitive methods are also there. So these are some of the research areas mentioned in the IAC website. The types of entry is you can go for becoming a project assistant at CBR, that is Center for Brain Research, ISC, or you can either go for a PhD position at ISC. So the mode of entry for project assistant is, again, the vacancy announcement. If there will be any vacancy, that will be displayed in the ISC website. And the second mode is emailing the PI, the concerned PI you have to mail, and then only you can get a chance of talking to them and then uh, getting any vacancy announcement available if they can give you any like a position if they're available in the lab and the second for phd you have four modes of entry so that is first is own fellowship csir ugc dbt or icmr net then dst inspire then defer jj bills or through gate but make sure you should have a good rank as well as a good exposure of the research areas or a good knowledge of the research areas that you want to work for getting into isc so they will have one or two level of interview mostly there would be two rounds of interview now we are coming with the most for like fourth institution that is most famous for the biological sciences and that is ncbs bangalore ncbs again is located in bangalore and it works in conjunction with the defer bombay so it's a part of defer only tata institute of fundamental research so the website here i have mentioned www.ncbs.rds.in the research areas in the field of neurosciences are Neurobiology of learning and memory, brain homeostasis and neuroinflammation, neural control of breathing rhythm in mammal, mechanism of electrical synapse formation, regulation as well as function, neural control of movement during the development and in adulthood. So these are the research areas. You can go and check for the website for the detailed entry. Then the types of entries you can go for internship, long-term internship are available in NCBS Bangalore. Again, you can go for becoming a project assistant or junior research fellow in one of the lab of the neurosciences department of ncvs bangalore or you can opt for a phd there so for going for an internship you should email the concerned pi check for the vacancy available and then proceed for becoming a project project assistant and junior grf for junior research fellow again there might be a vacancy announcement that is there at NCBS Bangalore, but the second channel is you can email the PI, you can email the potential PI or the host lab if you are interested in pursuing any project position there. And if the vacancy is available, they might revert you back. So this is the second method how you can go for a project assistant or JRF position at NCBS Bangalore. The for PhD, you have to give for JG bills. Even if you have qualified CSI or DBT gate examination, the entry is through for JG bills. If you have qualified also, you have to give for JG bills exam so as to opt for the PhD program or research program there at NCPS Bangalore. Now, we're coming for the fifth institution and that is Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, Mumbai. Tata, research, uh, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research is located in Mumbai. So, I am talking about the Mumbai DBS campus that is Department of Biological Sciences, TIFR, Mumbai. The website, I have mentioned it here. Research areas in the field of like neurosciences are neurogenetics of behavior, cargo transport in neurons, genetic mechanism and signaling pathways in development of brain, neurobiology of emotion. So these are the, some of the like departments or the research areas of the TIFR DBS Mumbai. The types of entry here is you can go for dissertation project work or internship position based on the availability. You can go for project assistant or PhD position. For getting through internship or uh, like dissertation, you should email the potential PI and ask for permission. For be be becoming a project assistant, again, you can go for vacancy announcement if there is any vacancy available in the website or you can go for emailing the PI also. 
For PhD, there are three methods of entry, TFI, JJ Pills, GATE and CSI Net JRF. But for the GATE and CSI Net JRF, make sure that you should have the top ranks or you should be among the top 1-2% to students who have qualified GATE or CSI Net JRF, then your chances of getting selected are high. Now, we are coming to the next institution. We are done with TIFR Mumbai. So, the next institution that is the sixth one is Institute of Stem Cell and Regenerative Medicine that is DBT in STEM again located in Bangalore, Karnataka. DBT in STEM is an autonomous institution of DBT and they have their PhD uh, affiliation from RCB Faridabad that is Regional Center for Biotechnology Faridabad. It is located in Bangalore and the website I have mentioned is here. The research areas available in the field of neurosciences are modeling neurodevelopment and diseases, mechanisms regulating barrier tissue homeostasis but there are a lot of research work going for the stem cells and the stem cells related to neurosciences. So you can even go for check for the um, researches that are going in the field of stem cells, regenerative medicine as well as neurosciences. The type Types of entry are again three. You can go for internship, you can go for becoming a project assistant or GRF or for a PhD position. Now, for internship, you should mail the PI and you should ask for permission if there is any training program, summer training program or internship program available. For getting a project assistant, you should again email the host lab or PI for asking permission if there is any position for project or GRF available for them. Then the third one is PhD. For PhD, you can give T for J bills examination but also if you're having CSI net JRF, DBT JRF, ICMR JRF or INSPIRE you can apply and you can be shortlisted if they shortlist you even if you have not given TIFR JG bills you can they can shortlist you based on your own fellowship category but make sure you should have a good rank and a good score. So now this was about the top six institutions that are good for pursuing neurosciences research which we have mentioned about the details of each one of them. So the first one is NCB and BRC Manasar Haryana. Nimhans Bangalore, CBR that is Center for Brain Research, ISC Bangalore, NCBS Bangalore, Tiffin Bombay or Mumbai and IL in STEM, DBT in STEM or Institute of Stem Cell Regenerative Medicine, Bangalore. So here I talked about six top institutions that are best for pursuing neurobiology or neurosciences research in India. If you have any doubt anything, please mention in the comment box below. Thank you so much for watching this video.